Yeah. Who is not playing? Yeah, I'm telling right you, we are in an hour. The time's getting short. We're either going to do right or we're going to get left behind. Amen. You're going to do right or get left behind. Yes, sir. You can play around with the word if you want to. You hear the word. And if you get left behind, ain't going to be nobody's fault but your own. Amen. We got one choice. And that is to obey the word. Yes, sir. If we want to make it into this kingdom. Amen. I don't care who we are, who we think we are, we better live this life, we better live a Kadash life, most Kadash. Hallelujah. Okay. We we'll play around if we want to, end up in that burning hell, you had nobody fault but Say yourself. Say amen. Yeah, amen. amen. Nobody but self. We're going to your helium three which is Jubilees 3, It'll be on page 247. I know we started off with uh, yesterday uh, 1, you had a little 1 last night, yesterday evening. But we're going, we're, it was not skipping 2, but we went, we did 2 the week before, last week. Now 2, chapter 2 again, as I say, was when uh, Moshe uh, Batshebet, thank you. Thank you, Lord. About the Shabbat. That we must be a keeper of the Shabbat. If we're not going to be a keeper of the seven day Shabbat, we're not going to make it into the kingdom. Okay? That's going to be most important of all. You can go ahead and do all the other commandments, keep all the other commandments, and don't keep the seven day Shabbat. You won't make it into the kingdom. We got to eat all this word, all the Torah. Now you can keep the seven days bet and you can break the rest of it if you want to, and you're still going to that burning hell. Amen. We had to obey all of His word and all His truth, but He especially, especially spoke on the Shabbat. You know, if you're not, you already lost out there. You already lost. You're already bound for hell. Break it if you want to. Don't believe you have to keep it. Keep on listening to the lie. Keep on listening to the deceit if you want to. Keep on keeping Sunday, the first day, as your Shabbat, and you, you call it your Shabbat. You're right. When you say the seven days is not your Shabbat, you're right. You're absolutely right. It's not your Shabbat. You're not keeping it. Amen. No argument. Amen. 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 You heard how I'm sad to come before you to say thank you. Thank you for your words. Thank you for your truth. We thank you for the words that come thus far. We thank you for keeping us in your bosom, teaching us your ways. We ask you to keep us with a mind that will be purified, that will be obedient to everything that you tell us to do. Help us, you heard, that we don't be wishy-washy people, that we don't do one thing this day, the next day we back in our sins, or Next morning, we're back in our sin, doing wicked. Don't let me wish you watch it. Help us to be Kadash and Kadash through and through. And each and every moment of our life that you and every breath that you allow us to take, let it be a Kadash breath, you will. Doing everything that you say with gladness of heart. No sorrow, no sadness, no tears for being Kadash. For being thanks. We have in tears, let it be tears of joy for being obedient to you that you gave us this opportunity. We thank you, Lord. We thank you again for the words that have come to us. Father, we're asking you right now to allow us to decrease as you increase in us, giving us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that we eat the whole road, that we eat the whole seeker, that we don't turn back on you. In the most God's name, we sure how I'm saved. We do say, Amen. 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 I give honor to Yahushua Hamasek, who is my Elohim. I thank him for his precious gift for the Riyadh HaKadosh. I thank him for his love, mercy, and grace. I thank him for allowing us to be here this day, this Sabbath morning, Shabbat morning, the seven day Shabbat morning. I thank him for that. I thank him for my Isha, because I'm a Baruch man to have such a wonderful. Isha by my side, a woman of Elohim by my side. I thank you for it. Couldn't get no better. I thank you. I thank you.
Uh, amen. I thank you. I give, I give praise. Thank you for electing Mother being here with her this morning. Thank you for Sister Hattie being here with her. Amen. Amen. Thank you for all the viewers that will be joining us later on. Thank you for you all. I just have a lot to be thankful for. Thank you for all our children, all the animals. I, I just thank you for because he's so wonderful in everything that he does. But he didn't have to care. He could let it go head on and straight on off into that burning air. He didn't have to care. He didn't have to give up his life, get on that torture stick. Well, he didn't have to do that. He could have let it kept on going, and we would end up in that burning hell. He didn't have to offer up or give us a chance of salvation. No. He didn't have to do that. Hallelujah. He said, I him on and said, I just started all over. I just made me a new bunch of people. One that will work, will right. obey. But he gave us the opportunity yes, to you. have a change of heart, to live a, a Kadash life. Yes. I thank you, Lord, for that. Glory. Amen. Glory. Amen. And we're going to start off at three. Amen. Amen. And it says, on the sixth day of the second week, we brought according to the word of Elohim unto Adam of all the beasts and all the cattle and all the birds and everything that moves on the earth and everything that moves in the water according to their kind. And according to their types, the beasts of the first day, the cattle on the second day, the birds on the third day, and all that which moves on the earth on the fourth day, and that which moves in the water on the fifth day. Let's talk about Adam, how Yahuwah had brought the animals before him, but Adam's supposed to name them. They're giving Adam what? So work to do. Amen. 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 Yeah. So if we ever want to know how a bird got its name or how the cattle got its name or how a dog got yeah, its man. name, we know that it was A down. A down. They did this. The first man. Hallelujah. Amen. He named them all. Yes, he did. Amen. The worm, everything. And tell him the days that he did it. Notice when he names days, say first day, second day, third day. They're not going Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. But it's first day, second day, and third day. Because see the days that, that we have these names for, Saturday is a pagan name. Is after a pagan Elohim. Is after the call the planet of Saturn. Again, Sunday, sun worshiping. Mm -hmm. Sunday, Monday, the moon. Tuesday, the, uh, excuse me, Wednesday, the God of wood, the other helm of wood. Thursday, the other helm of Thor. Of, of, uh, Thor. You ever probably heard of Thor and the hammer, you know, Greek mythology. That's how these names got about. And so we've been Talk wrong. taught wrong. Amen. Amen. See, we can research all these things and we take time and see whether it's wrong or not. But see, that's something we don't want to do. We don't want to take the time out of our so busy schedule to see if we're being taught truth or not. If it's wrong or what. We just go by whatever somebody tells us. Sounds good, sounds good, sounds like a good doctrine. We're going to go ahead and go by it. We're going to eat that on up. Yum, 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 yum. Yeah. We're not saying it was all right with Elohim. It was okay. The one that has power over our soul. We're not checking with him and see. See. 
because we don't have no time to spend with him. We're too busy. Our schedule is way too busy. Uh, we got this to do. We got that to do. But we're not going to take time about our soul, which is stupid. Because we need to see where our soul is headed for. Yes. Whether we're going through that burning hell or not. Yes. Are we going to spend eternity in hell or are we going to spend eternity in the kingdom with Elohim? And if we want to spend eternity with Elohim, what is it going to take for us to spend eternity with Elohim? We need to search things out. Amen. We need to develop a relationship with Elohim. We need to start asking him questions. Why this? Why that? How did this come about? But no, uh-uh. The preacher said it was all right, it's good. Pope said it was all right, it's good. And it's steadily feeding us poison. Okay. But we didn't take time to search it out. Number two. And they damn named them all by their respective names. And as he called them, so was their name. And on these five days, Adam saw all these, male and female, according to every kind that was on the earth. But he was alone and found no help me for him. And Yahuwah said unto us, It is not good that the man should be alone. Let us make a help me for him. Adam needed help. Mm -hmm. Adam needed help me. Help me. Somebody, Somebody that's going to well, speak unto him and let him know, that, hey, this is all right, this is okay, let us do this together. Wrong. Not someone that, not someone that here he's going to try to put his foot on. Amen. Uh-uh. Not, not, not a rug or the ground or a piece of mud to wipe your feet on. No, he said, so? help me. Mm -hmm. Help me. Somebody's going to be a help. Yes. Help to run the family. Yes. Help to run the house, the, the household. Not, not something that's going to destroy. Not something that's going to be lazy. It's not going to do it. Yes. So, I'm not one to sit up there talking about, well, hey, if you do all of this, I ain't going to do nothing. Yeah, that person I want my help me I want to do all the cooking. I want her to do all the cleaning. I want her to do all the sewing. I want her to cut the yard. I'm just going to sit on my floor and point and let her know what I want her to do. Or oh, she's going to do the same thing and just point and tell me what she wants to do. That's not going to work. No, sir. Neither way. No, sir. It's supposed to be help me. That's right. Help to one another. Yes, not understood. See, think you're just gonna have sex all day long or no, something sir. like that and ain't get nothing okay. done. You have sex all day long, you ain't got time to cook, huh? If you ain't got time to cook, you ain't got time to eat. You ain't gonna have it all day long. Get how old? How young you might be? Huh? You ain't gonna have it. You don't clean the dishes that you done ate out of. You gonna end up poisoning yourself? I'm going to be having that all day. Mm -hmm. Young or old. And what you take? You're all vibrant that you want, and you ain't going to be able to do it all day long. No, sir. Take this up to the grave. And get that out your mind and behind. Help me. Yes. See. Ain't no 50 50. No, sir. Some days. You know, I got to go in the house. I got to do this house for it. I can help the wife out sometimes because I'm not able to do anything on it. It might be raining, it might be cold, it might be too hot. It could be anything. I may not be feeling all that well. But I got to go in there and I got to help her. 
That's right. I got to try to do something to help her out. Well, she can get a break because she is doing everything. Then she's going to get tired. I, I expect, uh, oh yeah, well I like to have a sexual relationship with my wife. But if she's too tired, how can she have a decent sexual relationship with me? Huh? Can't. She ain't gonna even want to. Amen. So true. No mind, man. See, we gotta help one another out. It's, it's, sometimes she has to come out and help me out here. Amen. I don't care how, how, how little you may think it might be, but some, it's a great help a lot of times. Amen. 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 <laughs> But she has to come out here and help me sometime. Amen. It's got, it's got to be a help. She can't just sit back and say, well, no, that's, that's, that's your area. I ain't do that. What happens if she gets sick? Huh? Sometimes I have to come in and then I'll have to cook. Amen. I'll have to clean dishes. Amen. i have to make up beds. Yes, sir. I'll have to uh, sweep and vacuum. Amen, sir. Well, we'll talk about that dust. <laughs> but the dust, I have to do some of the household chores. That's right. It's a help me. Sometimes I don't see everything. And she may see it, and I don't see it. She has to, but she don't let me just keep on walking in the blind? No. She call out to me and say, hey, well, well, we need to do this and we need to do that. Oh, you're a woman. You can't tell me that we what we need to do. That's stupid. Hey, Amen. Do what you say. Uh, help me. Come on. Who is? See. Say, hey, help me mm -hmm. for him. Huh? Uh, help me. What do we understand what the word help me? Help me. Yeah, it don't mean it don't mean go up there and be beating one another upside the head. No, no. Kicking them. No, no. Being abusive. No. That is not a help me. That is not the purpose of a help me. No, sir. Yahuwah did not design a woman to be abused. Amen. To be a punching bag. Amen. Whoever gave you that idea that a woman is be a punching bag, or a kicking bag, or a stumping bag, or a rug, or to take abuses either verbally or physically has led you a wrong, has led you astray. Amen. Most definitely. Supposed to be what? A help me. Help me. Help each other out. Number five. And Yahuwah Elohim caused a deep sleep to fall upon him. And he slept. And he took for the woman one rib yes. from amongst his ribs. And this rib was the origin of the woman. From amongst his ribs and he built up the flesh in his stead and built the woman. And he awakened Adam out of his sleep. And on awakening, he rose on the sixth day and he brought her to him. And he knew her and said unto her, This is now bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called my woman because she was taken from her man. A man. See, called woman. A man. His help me. Taken from him. And so that is to let us know that, that we are part of one another. That's right. That our Kadash is supposed to, our Ruach is supposed to meet up. Amen. Amen. Because there's supposed to be a love, there's a bond, a bond there. Yes. 
Come on. See, because we're not supposed to hate ourselves. Uh-uh. We're supposed to love ourselves. And the woman came from us, but well, that means that we're supposed to love the woman. That's why I asked him to do ourselves. And we do ourselves. Yes, sir. I'm not gonna, I guarantee you, I'm not gonna go up there in the mirror and say, well, I'm just gonna beat myself to death. No, sir. I'm gonna stump myself to death. Mm -mm. I'm gonna abuse myself to death. No, no. I love myself. See. I'm gonna hurt myself. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna hurt nobody. Mm -hmm. See, a lot of times males want to go up there and treat a female like that as sexual whatever. Their sperm bank. That's an evil. Yes, it is. You have to stop it. That's a wickedness. Yes, it is. That's what fornication is. Mm -hmm. Adultery. Mm -hmm. It's a wicked, it's evil. We broke the trust, the bond. He says, therefore, number seven, mm -hmm. shall man and woman be what? One. You don't say be two. One. You gotta become one. United. In heart. Yes. In ruach. Mm -hmm. In mind. So tight. You gotta get what in sync. You got to what know one another. Amen. And get to know one another. And you don't just get to know one another in the bed. There ain't no one. There ain't no one. Thinking that you, oh, well, we had good sex. We're one. We're all right. Sex you have joined. Now, whoever you have joined sex with, since you have become a part of it, you have got whatever demons they have. You got them. You got them. And whatever demons you got, you gave it to them. They don't slept with you got all of them. That's right. Whoever they done slept with, you got all their demons. Every one of If you want to know why you walk around here half crazy, half stupid, half foolish, look at about all the people you done slept with. All your body parts are gone. But when you get saved, when you get delivered, you got to pray and ask for all your body parts, all your mind to come back into you. Maybe restore it back. To be cleansed. To be purged. All that evilness has got to be worth taking out. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shall become what? One flesh. One flesh. Now, you know what it said? A woman. That was for he said the woman was formed, was shaped, was built. By whom? By Yahuwah. Yahuwah. And who did he put together? He put together a man and a woman. And a woman. Amen. He did not put two males together. No, no. He did not put two females together. Abomination. He put male and female. Yes, yes. Man and woman. A man for his own woman and a woman for her own man. Amen. Her own man. Not with everybody else. No, sir. It had to become what? One, one. flesh. One. Now these days, people don't want to become one. They want to come everybody. Uh, they want to think that males and males can become one flesh. And females and females and become one flesh. Not so. I don't care what the church, what the pope, what anybody else says. It's an evil. It's a wickedness. Yes, Homosexuality sir. is a wickedness. 
I don't care how many you got in your family, or I love all my family, and I'm not going to talk against homosexuality, but I think it's all right. I hate you. got to try to understand them. No, I don't have to try to understand them. No, it's an evil, it's a wickedness. I'm going to pray for them, I'm going to love them, but I'm not going to accept their homosexuality. Amen. 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 Not suffer no sin. Amen. No wickedness. Amen. No evil. Amen. I don't care who get mad and who, who want to protest and all that. Okay. You want to. If you want to see, you see, they want to go up there and take the rainbow, which is a sign given by Elohim that he would not flood or destroy the world by water ever again. And they want to take that. As a sign saying gay pride, they are liar. The so they want to take the things of other him and turn it and try to turn it into a curse thing. Making a mockery, but they're gonna pay for it. It's a price to pay. Yes, it is. We're trying to make a mockery out of your Elohim words or out of Elohim himself. Amen. Amen. No, that's the And you don't understand. You, you don't understand. Amen. Amen. In the first week was Adam created and the rib, his woman, in the second week. And he showed her unto him and for this reason, the commandment was given to keep in their defilement for a male seven days and for a female twice seven days. And as the Adam was completed 40 days in the land where he had been created, we brought him into the Garden of Eden to steal and guard it. But his woman they brought in on the 18th day. And after this, she entered into the Garden of Eden. But they could not go in there at the same time. They had to be what purified. Amen. That's why, you know, when a woman has a child, the male child, she has to stay in purification for, you know, so much, so such a period of time. To a purification time go Boys, uh, one week and then women, two weeks mm -hmm. for the girl child. We can't come into the pool, people. Okay. When a woman is on her cycle, she cannot come into the pool, people. Amen. She can't even come, really, she's not even supposed to come into the uh, house. To the she cannot even enter into the uh, called out assembly when she's on her cycle. Amen. Amen. And for this reason, number 11, and for this reason, the commandment is written on the Shemarian tablets in regard to her that gives birth. If she bears a male, she shall remain in her uncleanness seven days according to the first week of days. And thirty and three days shall she remain in the blood of her purifying. And she shall not touch any sanctified thing, nor enter into the sanctuary until the accomplish until she accomplish these days which are enjoined in the case of a male child, so you, because why she's unclean. Everything, remember, everything in the sanctuary, everything Kadash. in the called out assembly is Kadash. It's Kadash. It's pure. I'm in. I don't know a lot of people don't teach this anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm in. I got away from it. See. Because they say, well, you know, that's what we done back in the olden days. But no, it still stands. Amen. Amen.
But in the case of a female child, she shall remain in her uncleanness two weeks of days. According to the first two weeks and 66 days in the blood of her purification. And they will be in all 80 days. And when she had completed these 80 days, we brought her into the Garden of Eden. For it is Kadash, then all the earth beside, and everything and every tree that is planted in it is Kadash. Everything that was in the Garden of Eden was Kadash. It was like a sanctuary. It had rules. It was like a called out assembly. It had rules. Everything that Yahuwah has is rules to it. There's reasoning behind it. And we got to get to work to understand the reasoning and know the law and the commandments of Amen. the word. But how will we get to know these words and these laws and judgments and commandments if we don't study them. Huh? If you don't pay attention to them. If you don't do them. And when you find yourself in the wrong, if you don't repent of it. And start doing the work in the righteous way. Thank you, Yahuwah. Hallelujah. Number 14. Mm -hmm. Therefore, there was a dame regarding her who bare a male or a female child, the statute of those days, that she should touch no sanctified thing, nor enter into the sanctuary until these days for the male or female child are accomplished. And this is the Torah and testimony which was written down for Yasharel in order that they should observe all the days. And in the first week of the first jubilee, Adam and his woman were in the Garden of Eden for seven years, tilling and guarding. Let us know how long Adam and his woman were in the garden. And we're talking about the jubilee. The jubilee is the first 50 years of their lives. And remember they lived to be 900 years old. Eight of them at least 900 years old. I forget the exact date. 900 might be 920 or 30 years. But that is less than a day. Because remember that Yahuwah gave the commandment that they will certainly die in that day if they partook of the fruit. Mm -hmm. But this just gives us a timeline uh, what was happening during the first week. And see, a lot of this stuff was taken out, a lot, all, all this was taken out of the King James Version of the Bible because they did not want you to know the truth. Amen. They did not want you to have understanding of what's going on. Yes, sir. Thank you, Thank you. He says, number 16, And in the first week of the first jubilee, Adam and his woman were in the garden of Eden for seven years tilling and gardening. And we gave him work. And we instructed him to do everything that is suitable for tillage. And he tilled the garden and was naked and knew it not and was not ashamed and he protected the garden from the birds and beasts and cattle and gathered its fruit and ate and put aside the remnant for himself and for his woman and put aside that which was being kept. So he knew how to store food, how to grow it. Why? Because he was instructed on what to do. See, this, this then just something happened. But Yahuwah had a plan for man, instructed him, told him how to work, how to do the work. But work is a good thing. 
But people sometimes treat work as if it's something evil, as if it's something wicked. Amen. Yes, sir. And something that it's not going to do. Amen. How are you going to put aside something that your whore has a service to do and expect to make it into the kingdom? Can do it. If you see a lazy person, a lazy child, then they're not a child of Elohim. Amen. Amen. So he has instructed us what to work, to do work. It's built into our character. It's built into our being. What? To work. One time seeing them work is, you know, we're sick. You can't work. But even a lot of us, when we're sick, we're going to try to do something. I don't want, if you get sick, oh, I didn't mean to say she. They're going to get, they're going to do some work. They love work. Mm-hmm. Number 18. And after the completion of the seven years, which he had completed there, seven years exactly, and in the second month, on the seventeenth day of the month, the serpent came and approached the woman. And the serpent said to the woman, Has Elohim commanded you, saying, You shall not eat of every tree of the garden? And, he, and she said to it, Of all the fruit of the trees of the garden, Elohim has said unto us, Eat. But of the fruit of the tree, which is in the midst of the garden, Elohim has said unto us, You shall not eat thereof, neither shall you touch it, lest you die. And the serpent said unto the woman, you shall not surely die. For Elohim knows that on the day you shall eat thereof, your eyes will be open, and you will be as Elohim, and you will know good and evil. Now notice how the serpent, how that devil goes up there and twists the words around. Huh? And he, his what? He's been up there had the audacity to call Elohim, Yahuwah Elohim, what? A liar. And here he is, He's the father of the lie. Of the lie. Come on. Hallelujah. The father of the seed. Yes. Now you want to understand how come Elohim hates a liar. Come on. Amen. He can't stand a liar. No, sir. Amen. That's how come it's so important that we don't allow lies to, front, to form in our frame, Amen. in our mouth. Amen. That we will speak truth. Yes, that we live truth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because a lie is a great abomination mm-hmm. in the eyes of Yahuwah Elohim. Amen. And Yahushua Hamasek. He can't stand a lie. Mm-hmm. He said, a, a liar is an abomination to him. He hates it. Amen. A great hatred yes. of a liar he hates. See him for the truth. See, it's a lie that got mankind messed up. Got him out of the will of Elohim. A lie. One lie. And you see, you got all these devils in the pulpits. Preaching and teaching what lies. Telling you don't have to obey the commandments. Amen. You don't have to obey the law. So we do. You don't have to obey everything that comes out of the mouth of Elohim. Yes, I do. I but they're alive. 
Amen. If you believe that lie, you're on your way to hell. Every word. I don't care what Strong or anybody else has said that, oh, you don't take all of this, you don't have to do that. You better believe what Torah speaks and do it exactly as Torah says it has to be done. Everything. Line by line and precept upon precept. Hallelujah. He says, number 19, excuse me, number 21, yeah. and the woman saw that the tree, that it was agreeable and pleasant to the eye, and that its fruit was good for food. And she took thereof and ate. See, her eye, see, Satan had revealed it to her. Let her smell it. Made her look at it. To focus upon it. Made her to what? Desire it, in other words. Yes. See, she was not satisfied with all that she had. She, they had everything. In the garden, everything was theirs. Everything they could eat and want was there, all except for one thing. And her mind got focused on the one thing that she didn't have. Not being, not appreciative of that that was given to her already. See, we get like that sometimes. Amen. Oh, no. With all that greed, no that old big eyedness get into our, our head. Show no. oh. We have we have all the stuff around us, and then we see something. Oh, I just gotta have that. I, I lose everything else just to get that one thing. Yeah, I know good. See, we got to learn how to be content with that that we have. And when, number 22, and when she had first covered her shame with fig leaves, she gave thereof to Adam, and he ate, and his eyes were opened, and he saw that he was naked. And he took fig leaves and sewed them together and made an apron for himself and covered his shame. See, before that, they had no shame of their bodies. They didn't realize that they were naked. They didn't realize the life that they were living, how wonderful it was. Amen. Now the eyes are coming open, open to evil, to that that is wicked, and shame. Amen. You who did not design these bodies to be what in shame. Number 24. And Elohim cursed the serpent and was wroth with it forever, was angry with it forever. Because the serpent allowed himself to be used by who? By the devil. He was angry with that. And he got angry with the serpent for allowing himself to be used by the devil. Come on. When you think about how he feels about us, and we allow ourselves to be used by the devil. The same way. Understand, the swine had more sense than allow themselves to be used by the devil. It's how I'd rather drown. I'd rather, I'd rather kill myself than be used by the devil. Yes. Amen. They didn't want to be cursed. 
We should not want to be cursed. Amen. And allow Satan to come into us and have his will with us. And he was wroth with the woman, because she had hearkened to the voice of the serpent, and did eat. And he said unto her, I will greatly multiply your sorrow and your pains. In sorrow you shall bring forth children, and your return shall be unto your man, and he will rule over you. He was angry with the woman. Yes, it's the boundary. Because he had what? She allowed the serpent to use her. Mm -hmm. Allowed Satan to come in and abuse her. Mm -hmm. Listening to the voice other than Elohim. Listen to a voice other than that was righteous. Amen. Listen to that that was evil. Listen to that that told them to go against the will and the voice of Elohim. He was wrong. He was angry. Yes, he was. And it's the same thing today. He's angry. He's very angry because people will lie, will steal, will commit fornication, will commit adultery, will forget about the Shabbat, will not obey the statutes, the laws, and the commandments that he has given us to obey, to do, and to live, that the people have chosen to live an unkadosh life. Yes. Amen. Sure enough. He's angry. Oh, yeah. With the fornicators. Oh, yeah. People that won't serve him, oh. won't do for him, he's angry. Yeah. People are inking their bodies all over. You see, that's about every person now got tattoos. Amen. All over their bodies. Not just in a small tattoo, but they got it all over their bodies now. Sure enough. And they think it's something cute. I want a food. He's not the same person. What do you think about that? Listen. Elohim is angry. Yes, he is. With the people. He says, number 26. And to Adam, also, he said, because you have hearkened unto the voice of your woman. And have eaten of the tree of which I commanded you that you should not eat thereof. Cursed be the ground for your sake. Thorns and thistles shall it bring forth to you. And you shall eat your bread in the sweat of your face till you return to the earth from which you were taken. For earth you are, and to earth shall you return. See, Adam had a chance He had the opportunity to refuse. He didn't have to hearken to the woman. And I am. See? We don't have to listen. When we know that something is wrong, we don't listen and do that that is wrong. That's right. When we know something goes against the will and the word of Elohim, we don't go up there and justify it by saying, well, okay then. Uh, maybe I'm going to get it. I'm going to do it. I'm just going to go ahead and do it. I'm going to go along to be pleasing. I'm going to go along with the crowd. That's a wickedness. That's a demon that has gotten into you. Hallelujah. 
When you want to do that, that is evil. Instead of being the voice of Elohim. Yes. Because once we know what to do and to do right, and we choose to do wrong, that's a sin. Yes, it is. That's an outward, deliberate sin. Amen. Yes, sir. That's an outward, deliberate wickedness, an uh, evil that should not be done, that should not be performed. Amen. Amen. So true. We know what to do, but we won't do. Amen. And we think that we're going to be all right. No, no. We think that we're saved. We think that we're delivered. No, we no. even had the audacity to think that we could dash. Or like some of you people that like say holy. Oh. And you won't obey Elohim. Mm -hmm. When we disobey the voice of Elohim, we're not Kadash. Amen. We don't belong to him. We're no longer his child. We have become a child of Satan. Amen. That's how come our walk with him must be pure. Our walk with him must be condemned. Not just sometimes, but at all times. You might say, well, it's impossible. It's impossible for this flesh to do so. Yes, it is. But with Elohim, it's not impossible. He's a keeper. That becomes so important that we dwell in Him and He dwell in us so that He can keep us. We have to learn how to what? Surrender and let it go. Say, I'm going to obey you, Elohim, with all my heart, all my mind, all my soul. I'm going to obey you. Hallelujah. Number 27, and he made for them coats of skin and clothed them and sent them forth from the garden of Eden. And on that day on which Adam went forth from the garden, he offered as a sweet savor an offering frankincense, gethanium, stack, and spices in the morning with the rising of the sun from the day when he covered his shame and on the day was closed the mouth of all beasts and of cattle and of birds and whatsoever walked and whatsoever moved so they could no longer speak for they had all spoken one with another, with one lip and with one tongue. So it was a time that man and animals, the birds and the fishes understood one another, but we were saying to one another. They understood the voice. And we understood their voice. Because we were all in one language. If you want, you had ever been wondering how did the serpent was able to speak unto Eve, unto the woman? Now you know, because of the time period that they all spoke, we all spoke with one voice. We understand. And number 30, and he sent out of the garden of Eden all flesh that was in the garden of Eden, and all flesh was scattered according to his kind, and according to his type, and to the places which had been created for them. And to Adam alone did he give the wherewith so, to cover his shame of all the beasts. And the cattle, the only one that was clothed. Oh, mm -hmm. 
on this account, it is prescribed on the Samarian tablets as touching all those who know the judgment of the Torah, that they should cover their shame and should not uncover themselves as the other nations uncovered themselves. May I come now? Because it has become a shame mm -hmm. to, walk to walk around naked. A man, a male, is not to show his nakedness. A female is not to show her nakedness. To cover herself. <laughs> We're going to walk around showing your shape. Your clothes are not so, so tight that they show your shape and show your form. It's an evil and it's a wickedness. Man. He says, 33. 33. And on the new moon of the fourth month, Adam and his woman went forth from the garden of Eden. And they dwelt in the land of Elder, in the land of their creation. And Adam called the name of his woman Chua. And they had no son to the first Jubilee. And after this, he knew her. Now he tilled the land as he had been instructed in the Garden of Eden. He ain't had no children until after was 50 years of age. Yeah. That's a jubilee. And he was taught how to till, so he tilled the land as he had been taught in the Garden of Eden. There's a lot of information that we have been missing out on. And that's what we want to get is to get an understanding who Elohim is and why we serve him. And you get an understanding of why we do the things that we do. We do the instructions. Get the full instructions on the word and on the truth. I know we said something this day that will help us make it to the king. Amen. That is a lot of information. Amen. Somewhere we have not read. Amen. When we were studying the um, the King James Virgin Bible. Amen. And I appreciate your who Hamas said. Amen. For the wisdom and the knowledge. Amen. Amen. That he has given us in this album. Amen. We just baruch him for another day. Hallelujah. Amen. This is, this is the Yashah. Yashari Hamasad community. We are right here at 4935 Highway 84 of Frisco City, Alabama. We have service here every Friday evening at the beginning of the Shabbat at 6 p.m. Every Amen Saturday, which is the seven day Shabbat, Amen, at 11 a.m. Amen. You're welcome to come and be with us in any of these services. If y'all will, we'll be right here. If you would like to write us, you may do so. You may write us at Yashar Yashari Hamasad Community, P.O. Box 824 of Monrovia, Alabama, the zip 36461. If you would like to email Chief Apostle Norman Golston, you may email him, yohuaman1 at gmail.com. If you'd like to email myself, Apostle Carrie Ghoston, it is Ghoston Pastor Carey at gmail.com. If you'd like to call us, you can call us at Ericor 251 593 3683. 
or 251-593-3671. And we would like to, um, amen, uh, speak only uh, to, um, amen, to tell you about the Yashar Yashari Green Barrel and also the Yashar Yashari Discount Castle Store. Amen. We are right here at 4935 Highway 84 of Frisco City, Alabama. The zip is, excuse me, the telephone number is 251-593-8336. You can call us, amen, and find out more information, amen, concerning the Green Barrel or the Discount Caster Store. Amen. Give us a call. Amen. We also like to encourage you to have Bible studies in your home. Have some Bible study. Children is out of school now. Amen. Make sure, amen, you, you keep check on them. Keep check on your children if you got to leave them there while you go to work. Amen. Keep check on them. Amen. Make sure, amen, they in the house. Amen. I tell you, you know, we used to raise the children. I am too. I done been a, amen, a single parent before. Amen. And you can tell these children. Amen. What to do and what not to do, but they they will try you, and you have to catch them, Amen, and put some on them, Amen. I'm telling you, they will try you, Amen. But Amen, I want to encourage you to have some Bible study, some church in your home. Put up your knife. Put I mean, put your guns up. Lock them up, Amen. Lock them up. Put them up in a safe place, Amen. I want to encourage everybody. Lock your guns, your pistols, and things up. Amen. Put them where they cannot get them. Amen. Amen. Want to do some encouraging. Amen. Because so much is going to happen this year. So much. Amen. And I tell you, I get stomach sick. I get so sick. Amen. When I think about the things and amen that are going to happen. Yes. Amen. That is happening. Yes. Amen. It makes you sick to your stomach. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. It makes you sick to your stomach when you see people don't want to obey Torah, don't want to live a rock, hock, and dash life. Amen. When you see all this evil and wickedness, cheering little babies dawn, amen. Fifth grader, sixth grader, amen. That's, that's having sex and everything. It's just bad. Amen. We got to pray. We got to watch our children. Amen. Talk to them. Watch them. Watch who they be with. Watch where you leave them. Amen. Watch who you bring in your home, who you allow in your houses, where you take them to. Amen. There's just so much. Amen. But we want to just encourage you. We're not trying to run nobody's house. Not trying to tell nobody how to run your house. But want to tell you, amen, how the devil be so sneaky and cunning cr now. Yeah. And the children got these cell phones. They got these tablets. Amen. That they know how to work them better than we do. Amen. They can get in touch with people. Amen. Just want to, amen, to, to alert you. Amen. To warn you. Amen. To warn you, amen, what to look out for. Amen. We also, amen, have prayer every evening at 6 p.m. and 9 p.m. These are some designated times that Yahuwah Hamasiah has given us, amen, to pray. Amen. We pray more than that, but these are some specified times that He's given us. Amen. To pray. If you have some time that you would like for us, amen, to pray, give us a call. We love you all with the love of your sure homicide. Shalom to you. You all be safe. Your hand, Mother. <laughs>